Hi everyone, Anshuta this side. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can implement CI CD for test automation. So we are going to learn different approaches. So let's learn each approach in detail. So our first approach is where you will implement your code from the same repository as your dev repository, which means your test scripts would be located inside the devs repository. And as part of this approach also, we have multiple sub approaches. So the first sub approach is running test on your local host that is before merging your code. So for example, your dev has raised a pull request and in that pull request, there are new changes. Okay. And before merging your PR, that is pull request into your master branch, you can run your test case on the local host and confirm if everything is working fine or not. Now let's deep dive into this approach. So in this approach, your test scripts will be there in the same repository. Like I mentioned, same repository as dev repository code. And in this, what will be the repository structure? The structure would be in such a way that you can keep your test automation scripts in the directory within the same repository. For example, in SRC, all your code would be there. And in the test directory, all your test automation scripts would be there. So this can be your repository structure. And when we talk about the workflow pipeline configuration, so what you can do, you can configure your pipeline to trigger in such a way that whenever any pull request is opened, you take the latest code from the repository. You install all the dependencies for both development and testing environment. Let's take the example of Cypress in this case. In case of Cypress, let's say you are running on GitHub Actions. So you need to add all those actions before running your test script, right? So we need to make sure all the dependencies are installed for both dev and testing environment. Then comes our running the test automation script on the local host as part of the build process. So in this specific approach, we are not running our code on any environment like stage or production. We are running our code before that. By this approach, you can actually find out the bugs quite early in the stage. Before merging your code into master, you can check if there's any issue in the code or not. After your test execution, what you can do, you can report the results. In case if there's any failure, you can say the build is failed. Or in case if it is passed, you can mention the build is passed and now you can merge your code to the master. So this is our first approach to implement CI CD in which your developer opens a pull request. They run the unit test cases. They install all the dependencies. So all the dependencies are installed. Now your automation test scripts are called. And based on the result, if it is passed or failed, the next step happens, which is merging your code or fixing the bugs. Now let's try to understand with example workflow over here. Whatever trigger you have configured, if it is a pull request or merging your code, in this approach, we are saying for the pull request. Now the next one is the pipeline runs the unit test case first, like we discussed. The next step is if unit test cases passes, then the pipeline will execute your automation script, which are located in the same repository under test directory. Fine. Then if all the test cases passes, the code is merged into the master. And if there is any failure, the report would be shared and the build would be failed. So this was our first approach. Now coming to the second sub approach, which is again, running your code from the same repository and you are running your test on the environment. Instead of local host in this approach, we are running our, our test on the environment like staging or pre-prod. But in this approach also, we are not merging our code. Before merging our code, we are verifying if all the features are working fine with our test automation script. So in this, we have the feature branch deployment. In many of the organizations today, this is the common practice in which before merging your code into the master, the feature branch is deployed to that environment. And once all the testing is done, then the code is merged. So this is a very common practice in big MNCs and big product companies in which they want to verify before merging anything into the master. In this case also, the test cases are in the same repository as dev code. And what will be the repository structure? It will be again the same. It will be inside your test directory. Fine. So this approach is similar to what we discussed earlier. But in this approach, we are running our test cases on the environment. So what would be the CI-CD pipeline configuration? The CI-CD pipeline configuration would be in such a way, whenever you raise a pull request, what will happen? the latest code would be pulled from the repository. Then all the dependencies would be installed for both development and testing environment. Then the branch will be deployed on the testing environment. For example, stage or pre-prod, 
it can be using github actions or it can be using jenkins we are not going into that detail we can be due to the webhook or it can be handled via your github action directly so mostly this is done by the devops team as tester as developer we just need to share our requirement with them now after this you will run your test automation script on that environment for example testing environment it can be a stage environment or pre prod environment as part of the build process and after this you can report the result in case of any failure you can fail the build and in case if it is passed you can then merge into the market so now let's understand the example workflow over here. so in this workflow what will happen the developer commits the code into the pr branch whatever is your feature branch over there the pull request branch or the feature branch then your ci cd pipeline is triggered by that pull request in this case the triggered would be the pull request fine the pipeline runs the unit test cases first because that is a step one over here fine in the testing pyramid also first unit test cases would be executed then the other test should be performed so next step is if unit test cases passes in that pipeline then your feature branch is deployed on the testing environment for example stage over here and then your test automation scripts would be executed on that environment which are located in the same repository inside the test directory and if all the test cases passes the code is merged into the master and if in case it is failed the build would be failed this is our second sub approach now comes the third sub approach which is again in the same repo running your test cases on the environment like staging or qa but this is after merging so this is a very important concept not for automation engineers but for even for developers also how you are making sure end to end quality is taken care of in that project and you should be knowing this because creating a script is is something which everyone is doing and how to maintain the process end to end this is something which will make you different from others now let's understand the third sub approach which is running the test cases on environment and this is after merging so this is our common step test are in the same repository as the dev code like we mentioned same repository structure the test cases would be inside the test directory but over here our ci cd pipeline configuration would be slightly different so what will happen in this process first of all we configure the pipeline to trigger on code merge earlier the trigger was on the pull request but here it is on the code merge so once your code is merged then the latest code is pulled from that repository all the dependencies are installed this is a common step then the test automation script is executed on that environment now the code is already in the master so this is the approach where they merge the code and then they run your automation script so in this case you merge the code the deployment is done your environment is ready and now you're running your test scripts as part of your build process and now you can see if the test case is passes or in case there's any test case failure you can report that build is not stable now comes the example workflow so the workflow would be in such a way developer commits your code into the main repository like the code is merged fine next step would be the pipeline runs your unit test cases first if unit test cases passes the pipeline runs the script which are located in the test directory now after the test cases passes the code is deployed into higher environment if you have set it in such a way actually varies from company to company if you have automated end to end flow if all your test cases passes on that environment the code is automatically deployed into the higher environment like production but again if in your company there is some manual testing which you have to perform on staging before deployment you can skip this deployment part to the higher environment so now we have discussed all the sub approaches for the first approach in which your test scripts are inside the same repository now comes our second approach in which your test scripts are located inside the different repository which is a qa repository so in this approach also we will see different sub approaches so the first sub approach is separate qa repository before merging the code so how will you implement ci cd in this case so what will happen in this case your repository structure would be in such a way that all your test automation scripts are located in a separate qa repository and your dev code is in a separate repository but in this case how will we implement the ci cd pipeline so in this case you will configure the dev repository pipeline to trigger a build in the qa repository so we have two repositories one is dev and one is qa and in this case the dev is calling the qa repository as part of the ci cd let's say for github actions you are calling a different workflow file from qa repository now the next step would be the pipeline pulls the latest script from the qa repository 
and runs your test automation script against that current build. So in this case, we are not merging our code. This is before merging. In this case, your feature branch is deployed into that environment and you're running your test case on that environment. So in this case, you can report the result and decide if you want to merge the code or not. Now let's understand the example workflow also. What will be your workflow? So the first step would be the CI CD pipeline for the dev repository would be triggered. Then the pipeline builds the application code which will deploy the branch to that environment, which is staging or any other lower environment. Then this pipeline will actually trigger a QA repository pipeline to run the latest script against the feature deployed build. This means your test cases would be executed on the lower environment only. Fine. So don't get confused by the statement feature deployed build. If the test cases passes, the code would be merged into the master. Now comes our second sub approach. In this, we have maintained our test cases in the QA repository, but after merging our code, we are calling the test automation script. So repository structure would be same, storing all your script inside a separate QA repository. Now comes our CI/CD pipeline configuration. Again, configure the dev environment pipeline in such a way it triggers a build in the QA repository. The pipeline pulls the latest script from the QA repository, runs the script on that environment, pre-prod or staging, but in this case, our code is already merged. Now, based on this, you can report the result if it is passed or if it is failed and if it is ready to be deployed to the next higher environment, which can be prod or pre-prod. Now, let's understand the example workflow also. Now, in this, the developer commits the code to the development repository. The CI CD pipeline for the dev is triggered. The pipeline builds the application after the code. Merge. So once the developer merges the code, the pipeline is triggered. And as part of the pipeline, what will happen? First, it will merge your code into the master and then it will start the deployment for that environment. After the deployment, then it will trigger the test automation script. And if the test cases passes, the code can be deployed to the next environment. It again varies from company to company. You can perform some manual testing on that environment and then proceed to deploy to the higher environment. So these are the two different approaches and both these approaches have different sub approaches also. I hope you get the idea how to implement CI CD for your test automation script. So these are the different approaches and sub approaches. Most common approaches, you already merge your code into the master and then trigger your automation test case. So in the next video, we will see how we can trigger this from the GitHub. So we will see a live demo of creating two repos. One is dev repo and one is QA repos and how we can do this in the real time scenario. So I hope you like content. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you're following the same approach, let me know in the comment box or in case if you're following a different approach, then also just mention. We'll be interested to know what approach you're following in your organization. And thank you for watching.